and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels in names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You see that? So this is why we're out here. We're out here to tell you you are the children of Israel. When Hebrew Israelites say that black people are the true Jews, that they are actual Israelites themselves, is there a way that we can know that that's absolutely false? Hey, Smart Christians, welcome back. You get this question asked from time to time. As a matter of fact, you see on YouTube about this group, the Hebrew Israelites, and I guess they have different, different groups who claim to be the true children of Israel, the true Jews, and they have divided for themselves different tribes. Well, without getting into their different arguments, because truth be told, and I'll just be fair, their arguments tend to be incoherent at best. They do not tend to stay in context with scripture. And so for that reason, I don't have a whole lot of dealings with them, although I used to in the past. But for you all, just if you have, if you've been so inclined to have to deal with them or you come across someone to ask these questions, or maybe you want to know the truth, is there a way to know for a fact that blacks are not Israel, that blacks are not Jews? There is a way. Black people are not the Jews that are described by the blacks that we see here in America and that they say that are the Jews. They're not. Here's how we know. Recall in Romans 9, Paul, who is a Jew, by the way, is speaking about people being saved. And he brings up an issue about his countrymen. Let's go to it real quick. Romans 9, verse one, he says, I'm speaking the truth in Christ. I'm not lying. My conscience bears witness with the Holy Spirit or in with the Holy Spirit that I have a great sorrow and unceasing anguish for my heart. I mean, in my heart, for I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Well, obviously, who's he speaking about? He's speaking about Jews because at this point in time, Though at the founding of the church, the first people to place their faith in Christ were Jews. But then a few years later, we see that Jews, by and large, are not placing their faith in Christ as their Messiah, but it is largely Gentiles. And so Paul has this, this bother in his spirit because Jews have decided not to place their faith in Christ. So we know he's speaking about Israel, about Jews, because look what he says. He says, verse 4, they are Israelites. And to them belong the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promise. So, now, as long as we know the context of what Paul is speaking of in Romans 9, 10, and 11. 9, 10, and 11, he's speaking about uh, this concern about Jews not placing their faith in Christ. In other words, becoming Christians, becoming believers, followers of God. But he says, though, we're not, not to be too disheartened because they are eventually, even though right now they're not, but Paul, what he does is he explains why the Jews are not placing their faith in Christ, why Jews are not following God the way they should. And he says this. One, he says that they've been given a stupor, a spirit of stupor. Let's go to Romans chapter 11, verse 8. No, let's start in verse 7. What then? Israel failed to obtain what is seeking. The elect obtained it, but the rest were hardened. So the elect, that was those few Jews who did come to Christ, who did place their faith early on, they obtained it. But then look what he says. He says, the rest were hardened. Well, who hardened their heart? He says, the rest were hardened, verse 8, as it is written, God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that would not see and ears that would not hear down to this very day. And so we've got Jews who who are saying, or we've got Hebrew Israelites who are saying that blacks are the true Jews, but there's a problem. If blacks are the true Jews, and if blacks are the children of God, and they're following, well, here's the problem. Why do we have so many blacks who happen to have placed their faith in Christ? That cannot be if the scriptures are true. The scriptures say that God has given them a spirit of stupor. As a matter of fact, look what else it says in Romans 11, 25. He says, uh, let's pull it back on the screen. He says, For I do not want you, brethren, to be uninformed of this mystery, so that you will not be wise in your own estimation. He says, A partial hardening has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come. And so all Israel will be saved. This is written. The deliverer will come to Zion, for he will remove ungodliness from Jacob. This is my coming with them when I take away their sins. So he's going to 
save Israel, and that is those of ethnic Israel, and only those of ethnic Israel who have faith in Christ. Those are the ones who will be saved, not all the Jews who happen to be uh, of the lineage of Jews who are ethnic Jews, but you must be an ethnic Jew, but also have faith, and he's promised to save some of that nation. Now, here's the point. If there's a spirit of stupor being placed over Israel, and if there's a partial hardening that's come over Israel, well, then how could Hebrew Israelites or anyone say that blacks who are placing their faith in Christ, that they are the true Jews, if these Jews have had a partial hardening come over their heart? He's clear in that there is this hardening happening, this partial hardening happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles is complete. Until Gentiles, until God is through dealing with the Gentiles. Well, if blacks are part of this group that are placing their faith in Christ, blacks, whites, Hispanic, Asians, all these people are placing their faith in Christ. That indicates that those people who are placing their faith in Christ now, those are the Gentiles, the people who are not, who's, who are the ones that are not obviously those who are who are of Islamic faith or, or Hindu or Buddhist. I'm not speaking of someone who has a different faith, but people who claim to be of the, the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that is the Jews, why aren't they doing it? Because God is correct. The Bible is correct. Paul is correct when he says that God has given them a spirit of stupor. So it could not be that blacks are Jews, but they're still placing their faith in Christ. It could not be that blacks are the real Jews, but they don't have a spirit of stupor over them, that they have not, that they've had their hearts hardened. You cannot have your heart hardened and still place your faith in Christ. And so that's proof, just biblical proof, one outstanding proof, one glaring truth to show that blacks are not true Jews. If they were, they would not be placing their faith in Christ. Amen.